Good day and welcome back to another DB Legends video. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the banner for the SS3 Go tanks, featuring, of course, the new sparking Hercule and Boo, as well as also the return, or I guess the second return, of the anniversary Super Vegito unit. So Super Saiyan 3 Go tanks, uh, for all purposes, I think a lot of people weren't super hype from his um like his announcement for me personally it looks pretty good uh, i wouldn't say he's a op unit i think he's relatively solid red so he's not counteracting ultra turles which a lot of people thought although he does have element nullification which does help out a little bit against turles if you can time things up right um he is not the answer to turles so that's not how it works but he is at the very least a very reliable unit uh, that can do pretty well he's going to be good against any yellows Good counter to Baby, good counter to Hand Crew or you know, Turles Movie Goku, whatever people are calling him, I don't know. But he's a good unit. Um, really strong in the beginning of the fights, then a little bit more reliance on timing of unique gauge uh, to be more prevalent later on in fights. Obviously very akin to how SS3 Go Tanks is in the show. Uh, they traditionally do that with him. Overall a good unit. Got a lot of stuff I think that makes him solid. Uh, if unspectacular, like there's nothing about him that I would say is distinctly amazing. He starts off really strong, really quite good, a good opening unit, a really strong unit to kind of use in the opening stages of a fight. Um, good counter to yellow, type nullification. Yeah, vanishing gauge restoration, also quite a big factor with him, so you can have a really, really strong presence in that beginning stages, really kind of tearing up the opposition. And then obviously as he starts to kind of dwindle down a little bit, you become more reliant on the unique gauge, then he kind of dips off. Uh, the unique gauge itself is more just an augment type unique gauge. You fill it up with attacks and then you expend it on abilities to you know, augment their special, special damage and things like that. So then we obviously have a baby. We have the Vegeta and Goku from the anniversary. I think these two units, by the way, are, are good. Um, so like summoning, if you don't have these two, it is an incentive to summon. Obviously Gotenks kind of gives Baby a bit of an issue, but powerful opponents in a really good place right now. And Baby is probably the premier yellow unit on powerful opponents, uh, I would say. So it's really good, Baby. Um, Vegeta and Goku also very, very solid. Paiko, Han and Gogeta, not too certain. And Goku and Vegeta obviously got their Zenkai, so you will need to have them at seven stars if you are looking at picking them up, because that's really what's going to make them useful unfortunately kid boo is still pretty solid after his enkai again with baby on their powerful opponent team not too bad and then we have boo and hercule who are honestly actually a pretty interesting support option um they support the team a lot more when they are up and running and then they debuff the opposition when they are defeated so they provide a lot of support while they're up and running switching in and out and then when they are eventually defeated or used as fodder they provide a bunch of debuffs to the opposition. So they're actually a really, really cool looking support unit, obviously to coincide with Margin Brew Saga. So it does make a bit of sense. Uh, all in all, the banner is actually not bad. I would say the banner is honestly not bad. I mean, Vegeta and Goku are definitely okay in the meta. Gotenks is definitely okay in the meta. Baby is okay in the meta, for sure. Um, the Goku and Vegeta, Zenkai unit is definitely okay in the meta. Uh, and, you know, I would say Herku and Boo are a pretty good support for the for the meta right now. So I would say that the banner is not actually that bad, um, but I think you, you know, it's getting close to that kind of do or die time when it comes to saving for Legends Fest. So I think if you're a bit low and if you're a free to play player, you probably still want to skip this as honestly it doesn't really answer Ultra Turles. So yeah, that's it. 